ko pa ko advertise kay hindi ka ko palit sa mo extra ng mga kaya is pa daw na tila jelo so iabot na to maghilom hilom ta kay na katanong ka dyan katanong siya yung tayo guys So manood na tayo rin ajan lo magilom ilam ta kay naibakta So guys nagkana kasi yung nabuhat ka lang Tanaw na to sila kung buhat Hindi tayo sila nabuhat ka lang guys Oh? Napa dito. Nag Kuha na sila sa platform. Napa So, ato sa ikat karon guys ah. See you later. Meanwhile, So, mau guys, mana jadi main sama model sa Earth so. Sudah. Oh, kau kau. So, good day everyone. This is our 3D model of the. Coba. Biar bisa ya, brother. Oh, good day everyone. So, this is our 3D model of our Earth sphere. So, after the formation of the Earth from the nebula that cooled down after many years. Our planet formed. So starting off, this is uh, the whole planet. This is a 3D model of the planet. This is the geosphere. It is the planet itself? It is where the parts of the planets. So the first sphere is the geosphere. It is the most abundant sphere in the Earth. So after the Earth is we have the hydrosphere, which which is which covers 71 percent of the Earth's surface. As you, as you can see, there's also water from the waterfalls, which is also part of the geosphere. And we have the atmosphere here, with it, which is a thin layer of gases from the Earth, which protects us from, from UV rays from the sun. And as you can see, there, this is the troposphere, which is, which is where the clouds are, are set. You might be wondering, why is the sky blue? Why not red? Why not green? Because as the, as the sun... As the ray of the sun comes from the earth, its, its light particles was, is scattered in all directions. And since blue light is shorter and much faster, it is more clear to see. That's why you can see the sky is blue. So after that, after for many years, life has descended into the earth and we can see the, we can see the fourth part of the sphere, which is, which is the biosphere. So we can see here, we have giraffe here from this biome and we have another another form of life here in this biome and we have there another life in this biome which also have a, li a little oasis which is still part of the hydrosphere and another life here so you're probably thinking what's your connection about uh, geosphere hydrosphere atmosphere at and set by a well let's make it simple the biosphere needs the geosphere to get their resources, foods, to or their fuel to move, and they need the hydrosphere to make themselves um, hydrated. So, and the atmosphere is they need this protection from the sun. That's the simple explanation. So, for not easy, not very easy explanation. So, the. Hydrosphere and the atmosphere is connected because they uh, water cycle the water from the 
from the surface and put it in the you know the atmosphere and it makes cloud then the clouds when the clouds get heavy it pours water to the hydrospheres so it's just connected and for the geosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere they are connected up for the uh, the weathering effect or the rock cycle so that's it for our explanation and thank you for watching so if you want to watch our documentation about making this 3d model you can just watch after this video thank you